Moments after bus 72 left the parking lot here at Nathan Hill Middle School, a young teen on board began to have a seizure. And while most classmates were frantic and didn't know what to do, one of his classmates did. And because of her, he was able to be in school again on Monday. He had fell over and he fell on me. He started like shaking. What Amaya Draper knew, she never thought she'd need to know. He started like choking and so me and Elizabeth had to like turn him on his side and then we were going to hold his tongue but then like he opened his eyes and then he was like just staring because he didn't know what was going on. I was just amazed by how she handled it. Amaya's mother, a daycare professional, always taught her daughter to be prepared. She's just kind of right there and you know has picked up a lot from me so you know as far as CPR and first aid too she knows pretty much how to do that as well. This is the boy she helped. I thank her for it. Ethan Annans might be shy, but he's grateful, and so is his mother. For her to know what to do, that is awesome. Awesome. Still, Amaya's mother wonders why her daughter did the helping, not the bus driver. I spoke with the manager, and she was just like, well, she followed my procedure on what I told her to do. I'm like, ma'am, she didn't do anything. The bus driver literally sat at the front of the bus. OPS wouldn't make anyone available to discuss medical emergency procedures on buses, but sent us this policy. It requires drivers to call dispatch, not 911. Dispatch then would notify emergency agencies. Drivers get trained in first aid. Amaya says she didn't wait for anyone to tell her what to do. I didn't really think it would have to be my place to do it. Like, I would think the bus driver would do something. Both parents we spoke with say they'd like to see bus drivers get training in CPR and for other medical conditions that could occur while kids are on the bus. They say time is of the essence, and their response could be the difference between life and death. At Nathan Hale Middle School, Dave Roberts, KETV, Newswatch 7.